Kia ora and welcome to video four in this five part series helping you with personal pronouns in Dale Māori. Now, please, if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button down below, the big red subscribe button. Uh, it's an awesome way for you and I to stay in touch with each other and you can stay in touch with all the latest videos and all the latest content. So today, we're going to be looking at two more words that are personal pronouns. So far, we've looked at o, kwe, ia, we looked at tāua, tato. We looked at māua, mato. Today, we're going to look at korua and koutou. Korua and koutou. So we'll jump across to the screen share and we'll get into it. So korua and koutou. And I'm going to make myself a smidgen larger over here in the corner. Korua and koutou. So korua means you too. So uh, you'll start to notice a pattern here uh, where we had tāua, we've had māua, and we've had, had kōrua. They all talk about two people only, whereas tato, mato, and koto all refer to three or more people. So the first one, kōrua here, is you too. So we're talking, when you're talking to someone, talking about two people there, not me, not me personally, not me doing the speaking. We're talking about koto, you all, as in all of you that I'm speaking to, but not me, and not anyone on my side. It's everyone that I'm uh, that I'm speaking to, referring to all of you. So we'll jump across to our famous image here uh, with all our players. So remember, you're this gentleman here, down here in the red shirt, in the water. Maybe we'll call it watermelon. Uh, in the watermelon coloured shirt. Remember, you are talking to this gentleman here. That's the conversation, you and him. So the first one, kaitiaha korua, meaning what are you two doing? Kaitiaha, what? What are you two doing? Kaitiaha korua, what are you two doing? Now, remember the conversation here is between you two, but korua refers to you two, as in the two people that you refer, you're talking to. And I've represented that with this red arrow and this great big red circle. So. When you're addressing these two people, korua. So if you're, we're going to use that example from one of the previous videos where you are on the phone to one of your friends and you're talking about, you want to ask what your friend and their partner is doing. korua. What are you two doing? So not me on the phone, not me on the phone to my friend, but I'm asking what my friend that I'm talking to and her partner or his partner, what they're doing. korua. Korua. Korua meaning the person that you're speaking to plus someone else that's somewhat connected with them. When we step down to koto, kahaire koto, are you all going? Uh, you'll see it's it's similar in that we've encapsulated these two guys, two gentlemen in the blue shirts, but now we've also hooked in the lady in the green shirt. Now the assumption here is that this these three people are a cohort of people. They're a group of people, and that's why we're using Koto for the address. Kahaire koto. If we wanted to use kaitiaha koto, what are you all doing? That would be uh, also appropriate. So here, we're talking about these three people. We're addressing all of these people. Now, it could be that you're talking to all of them at once. So if you're addressing a crowd, you would have heard it before. Te na koto, te na koto, te na koto katoa. Koto, you're addressing all of the people there. Uh, but it could also mean you're just talking to this guy, but you're talking about some other people that are somewhat, whoops, skipped over to the next video slide. Um, you could be referring to, you know, all these other people that are somewhat connected to him. So maybe you're talking to your friend here again on the phone and you're referring to their, I don't know, netball team perhaps. What are you and your netball team doing? Kei hakoto. That's what koto is. It's the person you're speaking to plus anyone else that's connected to them greater than three people. Gosh, that sounds confusing. But with these videos, we are aiming to simplify it. So it's the person you're speaking to and uh, three or more other people. So that's korua and koto. Thank you for watching the fourth video in the five video series. And as you probably saw a little sneak peek of there, in the next video, the final video in this five-part series, we're going to be looking at rawa and rato. 
Rawa and Rato. And that will complete our personal pronoun series. So I'll see you in the next video.